All right, guys, here we go. We're going to start out uh, next week looking at micro gold futures and micro silver futures and the DXY. And right now, our target, and of course, that's contention on, you know, the DXY, uh, we're looking at about 1800 And the reason being, whole round even number, we're only about 18 bucks, So we're pretty sure we'll be drawn down there like a magnet into that area. And then right under there, we could get a wick. Wick meaning similar to this, where they shoot it down there, uh, pick up a lot of those uh, buy orders, and then drive the price back up. And we have two significant, uh, you know, uh, price ranges down here. That uh, 1780, for example, the uh, 200. Many times when you come from an extended price point down to the 200, you'll get consolidation in a bounce, okay? And then also we have this sideways consolidation zone over here. Whenever uh, you see price like that on a chart, that, that's either a distribution, uh, they're solely selling so they don't dump it all of a sudden to the downside like they did up here, okay? Or it's accumulation and they don't want to run the price up uh, too hard too fast. So they slowly uh, are buying in. Okay, another important aspect of this chart is this high pivot. You always got to look left to see what's going on in the chart. And that will a lot of times help you determine, you know, where uh, potential support is as you're coming down or resistances as you're coming up into that area. And right here, again, you know, consolidation, uh, slowly selling off and then the push to the downside. So that's previous resistance. So as we come down, it could help us support, but as you can see, we're right under that line right now. If you can see that green dash line, we actually closed under it uh, Friday, and then here we are right now. Not that we can't get back up and over it, because we're just, you know, uh, dollars, pennies, you know, away from doing that. But we need a full day close to see which, you know, direction we're going. Plus, we're on a very strong time count, so we could see a green uh, candle actually on go tomorrow. But let's look at uh, silver right quick. And as you can see, we're hit, hitting a significant price level. We've already closed under the 200, which is actually, you know, pretty bearish. Unless we can get back up and over it within the next couple of days, okay? If we get two uh, days, they don't necessarily have to be consecutive days. We get two days um uh, price action closing under that 200 and then that uh very much uh, increases your odds probability of continued price action to the downside now still think at some point they're going to drive us down here to that whole round even number at 20 bucks but again uh we're hitting this high pivot consolidation zone here as you can see, we ran through it and then they, you know, pulled it back under, tried a couple of days, couldn't get there. And then we had a consolidation period here. So a lot of, you know, reliable, valid uh, price action across that green dash line. Maybe we could probably even pull it, you know, over into this area, which I might do actually as well to give, you know, more significance to that uh, area here at about 2080 or so okay and then let's go to the most important quite honestly most important chart for commodities near term is this dxy us dollar currency index as you can see we've driven up into this red dash line that has uh, resistance and support throughout it going back to 20 to uh, june of 2022 okay and again we're on a time count so we could see a red candle uh, closing Monday, possibly even in the Tuesday. But even with that, I believe uh, if we, here's this low here to this uh, run up and we come back in. And if we can catch the 20 as it's coming up, we could get a bounce, you know, back up and over uh, this resistance zone and actually come up to that 106, uh, 106.40 area. Okay. And that's really where I'm seeing are the possibility, you know, nothing's 100% of the dollar pulling back uh, a lot more deep and us getting a nice, uh, at least an oversold short covering rally on gold, silver, probably even copper, uh, 
uh, you know, from that point. Okay. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else you guys need to need to know about right here. But uh, yeah, time count hitting that resistance area uh, a little bit above, you know, getting kind of long in the tooth above the 20. So that uh, th those factors put together could give us a little bit of a pullback here, which would pump your gold and silver, you know, to the upside a little bit. And then we would need to go from there. But I think the the uh, probability of us coming up to this 106, 10641 area is pretty high. And at that point, it would all, you know, pretty much be all systems go on a re nice reversal uh, based on this resistance area, nice reversal for silver and gold. But what's nice about the micro futures is that you can go short or long, just a, quite frankly, just a click of a button. You know, you click sell and it'll put you short uh, to the downside, click, you know, buy and it'll put you long to the upside. And that way, if you are holding physical silver, uh, this is kind of gut wrenching, you know, pulling pulling down here, maybe even into the uh, 20 sub 20 area dollar area, but you know, playing it short, uh, and you know, as commodities, uh, you know, gold and silver pull back, you can take those profits, and guess what? Yeah, you know, uh, stack more silver. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great week, and we will see you on the chart.